Range of the instruments is an issue if you are performing a suite of several movements. Adagio requires the low drum to go down to a C-sharp, and the same drum must reach a major seventh higher in molto perpetuo, up to a B-sharp. Not all timpani are capable of this range. It is well within the range of the Yamaha TP9000s that I am using for this recording. Although, in general, I prefer to play the timpani while standing, for this piece, as well as for canto, I play while seated on a stool. This frees up both feet to move around the pedals with greater agility than if I were standing. The point of this piece is the melodic content. So I have chosen Vic Firth ET2 European Classic Cartwheel Mallets that minimize the rhythmic articulation in favor of the resonant pitch and its most important changes. Of course, you will want to practice singing the piece before you attempt to play it on the timpani. It is important that you hear in your mind's ear what pitches you are going for so the foot can take you there. Okay, so that part is not so easy, but practice it at the piano and you will eventually get it. Now, what Carter did that was very considerate was to always have you play the note on one drum that you are looking for on another drum, almost as a convenient reference pitch for you. 